Hey guys, it's Cadence from Farmville 2 Misfits. I'm here to do the breeding guide. I know that this scares a lot of people, but it really shouldn't. I have already gathered up a whole bunch of cows and taken the liberty of feeding them the baby bottles so you guys didn't have to go through that. So basically, right now, I have a whole bunch of cows that have no pedigree levels at all. But I also have one that has one star. We're not going to mess with him right now, though. And the cows are taking their time to appear. But as you can see, each one of these cows, it shows you how many pedigree levels it has and what it gives you. So each one of these cows will give two clotted queens and one fertilizer. Um, if we were to breed this zero star with our one star, it would be a complete waste of time. You can only breed similar stars together. So in that case, in order to get another one star for Bob over here, this worm we're, we're going to call Bob with the one pedigree, even though they're not showing up thanks to Zynga being so wonderful at their jobs. Um, Bob needs a partner, and Bob can't mate with any of these because they're not the same pedigree level. So we're going to select two cows that have no pedigree, and they're suddenly going to rush in. And you're going to see right here that their predicted meter is to be three quarters of the way to one star. But we're going to start it for 20 favors. And you'll notice as you boost the baby with feed, he will seep up into that one. Oops, my, I'm sorry. I need to get some feed really quickly. And do yourself a favor. Have plenty of feed ready. Have plenty of bottles ready. You're going to need them. And coins as well. All right. So now we're going to come in here and we're going to finish boosting this baby up. Just feed it as many times as it lets us. And now it shows you. This is what it's going to give us just for breeding, which is awesome. So we're going to place that down. And now we have this really awesome baby right here. And it's a, it's a level one pedigree, so I'm going to catch it and feed it. I bought some extra bottles just for you guys. So we're going to wait on that to take effect. Uh, or I can just do it again. All right, so now this level one pedigree baby is going to level up for us. And when it does, it's going to show you what you have achieved by breeding. So now it shows us that this cow, we can name it right here, but this cow has now one pedigree, and it gives us three clotted cream and three fertilizer, as well as one Swiss cheese when it's prized, which is no different. So now we're going to hit Go Breed. And when we come back in here, we'll notice that Bob now has Sally to play with, okay? And so if we breed Bob and Sally together, I'm just gonna sit here and boost the baby over and over again. Go make some more feed, which is going to get old and tedious, but get used to it. I'm just gonna fill up my feed really quickly so I can try to avoid coming back over here again. Holding it down is an option too, guys. You don't have to click it any time. Get all my feed. All my cows are coming over here because they're hungry, but they'll be okay. All right, so now I'm going to click back on my breeding barn, and I'm going to finish Bob and Sally's baby. They were both pedigree level one cows. As you can see, they each give two clotted cream and three fertilizer. Or actually, this one gives three clotted cream. So we're going to see what their baby comes out with. We're going to hit finish, and we get a, a thousand or a hundred experience and five power, but we got twins, which is really, really great because normally we would only have one two-star baby right now, but now we have two, which is great. So if we come over here to the breeding barn, just to take a look before we mess with our new babies, you'll notice that we now have no pedigrees, none, because Bob and Sally are no longer relevant, which means if we had only had one level two baby, like so, All right, so I just leveled one baby up, and as you can see, he didn't really get that great of stats, but he is level two pedigree, so we're just gonna put it down, and if we had gotten one baby in this instance, we would come back and we would have one two-star cow and two useless cows. And if you breed this two-star cow with these cows, you're basically wasting your time. What you need to do is breed two more level zeros and then two more level ones, once again, until you're sitting here with two level two pedigree stars. So we're going to go ahead and get our second little, little twin up here. And as gross as, as it is, we're going to breed them together. 
because they're now two stars. So it basically we got to skip, you know, wasting four cows worth of favors and feed because we got twins, which is great, but it doesn't always work out that way. So now we've got this second baby at a pedigree two star, and that would have taken a lot of work. And we can see what he gave us. We click back on our barn now, and now we have two level two pedigree stars. As soon as you see two matching stars, you breed them together and you boost them as many times as you can, finish them, get your rewards, and now you'll see our baby is pedigree four, which that is one of the rare things that happens too. It was a level two pedigree and a level two pedigree, and they should have made a level three baby, but because we boosted them the way that we did, and probably because they were twins to begin with, it gave us that extra star for free. So now we're gonna place our level four pedigree baby and we're gonna go ahead and give it its bottle. And at this point, you're basically gonna come over here and notice once again, you have useless cows, which means when this one's all grown up in level four, you have to start over again with the level ones. This can happen with cows and horses. I hope this helps you guys out a lot. I hope it makes breeding a lot easier for you. Happy farming. See you next time.